Today we're going to talk about 7.4, which is adding and subtracting rational expressions. This section is going to have unlike denominators. So there aren't new rules for how to do it. Remember I've told you, and this is actually what I'm showing you right now, is in Canvas at the very bottom of Module 4, and it says um, summary page for your rules for Chapter 7, uh, rational expressions. So 7.1 7.2 have the same rules for multiplication. 7.3 and 7.4 have the same rules for adding and subtracting. So just again as a reminder, first step, you have to build your denominators to match. You're getting an LCD. So I really think it is super important that you simplify the numerators first separately, and then you keep the denominators LCD every single time. Step two, before you go to it, the denominators have to match. If the denominators match, you add and subtract the numerators. Notice you keep your denominators LCD, so you're keeping that factor denominator. Be very careful of your signs here. This is where people tend to start undoing what they did before because they're trying to do too much at once. Think of it as a three-step process. Once it's a single fraction, factor the numerator and see if you can cancel any like factors three steps. Come up with however you need to write down these steps for yourself so that you don't mix these rules up. Really important. This again can be found, so don't struggle to write this down. It's in the Canvas shell on the bottom of Module 4 page. So going to our problems for 7.4, we're going to start off with number one. Notice my denominators do not match, but there is nothing to factor. So that would have been my first step for my LCD. So my LCD here in this problem should be an x minus 1 and x minus 4. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this problem so you can see my first step of getting that common denominator. Because again, the first step is building it to match. So remember, this is my goal. This is what I want. And once I get it, I want to keep it. So I'm going to multiply this first rational expression by x minus 4, numerator and denominator. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this because I think if y'all do this in one step, you're not going to make the mistake. So still sticking with step 1, we multiply and distribute the numerator. So that gives me 3x minus 12, and we keep the denominator on my second rational expression. I'm going to multiply it by x minus 1 to get that LCD up here because I want it to match. So I'm going to again distribute that. Be careful. It gives me a 5x minus 5 over x minus 4, x minus 1. I'm now done with step 1. Please finish that step as you consider step 1. So now we keep our denominator and again, we keep it in the factored form from above. We add or subtract the numerator and we collect like terms when we do this. So I have 3x plus 5x, that gives me 8x. Minus 12 plus minus 5 gives me a minus 17. It is now in a single fraction form, which is step three. You look at the numerator and ask yourself, can you factor it? And there's nothing I can factor in that numerator. So that is my answer. I never multiply out the denominator. I leave it in factored form. That's why, again, I suggest putting in a box for every problem, what is your LCD, and write the word keep it. So looking at number two, any time of this, please pause it. Try to work the problem out yourself. First thing you should notice is that they are not in the correct order, meaning that no matter what, I want the variables to be in the same order. So. I have x minus 3, which is in descending order. This here is not in descending order. So again, I can rewrite this as negative x plus 3. All I did there was change the order. So I'm going to keep that first term, the first rational expression. And now notice out of the second rational expression, I never want a negative 1 as a leading coefficient. So this goes back to the rules we talked about in 7, 1 and 7, 2. I'm going to pull a negative 1 out as a GCF to rewrite it in the correct format so that I can look to see if something matches. If I have a negative 1 in the denominator, I never want to leave it there. I either want to pull it out in front 
of the fraction, the rational expression, or move it to the numerator. The rule that you want to use here is if the term in front is a subtraction, you always essentially want to move it out there because a negative times a negative becomes a positive. So this problem becomes 7 over x minus 3 plus 9 over x minus 3. Now, if that had been a, an, a sub, a, an addition in the middle, I would have moved it up to the top and made it a negative 9. So now notice we have actually made it fit 7.3 section. The denominators already match. I don't need an LCD to build. It's already there. So denominators match. We go to step 2 in the process, which says keep your denominator add across the numerator. So 7 plus 9 is 16. Nothing to factor in that numerator. So my answer here is 16 over x minus 3. Again, pause it at any time you need to. The mistake people make is they start jumping the gun on this problem. If it's not both in the same order, please rewrite it. It's not always going to give you an LCD, but it's going to take you a step closer to doing it in the correct format. So going to number three, again, pause this, go through your steps. Try to figure out what your LCD is. Once you've got that step done, again, build them to match. Once the denominators match, add or subtract the numerator or denominator, keeping the denominator. And then lastly, see if you can factor it. So go ahead and do that on your own. My LCD here in this problem, I have to factor each denominator out. So in this case, I can pull out an x from the first denominator, which leaves me with x times 2x plus 1. And in the second denominator, I can pull out a 3, which leaves me with a 2x plus 1. I'm going to rewrite this problem with what I have leaving a space. So when I copied this, if I were to copy this problem onto my own paper from my math lab, I would just go ahead and, and write it with this space involved here. So I would go ahead and just leave a space behind each one so that I can show the work of simplifying that LCD um, in essentially what looks like one step, but it really isn't. So I'm going to look across here at my, LC, my, my denominators. My monomials, I have a 3 and an x. Neither one is in common, so I need to bring them both over. The 2x plus 1 matches. The mistake people make, again, is they think I need two of these. I do not. They already match, but I have to keep it. Because remember, I'm building them to match. So that part is already there. So I like to put this in a box so that I can clearly look over here and say, what's missing? I have the x and the 2x plus 1. I need a 3. So I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator there by 3. That gives me a 9 over 3x times 2x plus 1 for my first rational expression. Looking over here in my, again, my box, I have the 3 and the 2x plus 1. I need an x to make it match, because remember, that's my goal. So I'm going to get a minus 2x squared. I put the monomials in the front, so 3x times 2x plus 1. Now I'm done with step 1. Step 1 says make the match and simplify the numerators. Now I'm going to add or subtract. So this minus goes to that whole piece, so be careful. This, in this case, there's only a monomial, so it's not as hard to make a mistake, but if there's a binomial like that, you have to distribute it. So now I have a 9 minus 2x squared. I keep the denominator as my LCD, 3x times 2x plus 1. I look at that numerator and ask myself, can I factor it? 9 is a perfect square, but 2 is not, so I cannot factor that into a difference of squares. That is finished. That is my answer. 9 minus 2x squared all over 3x times 2x plus 1. Please rewind, stop, pause, anything that helps you do these problems. Go back to that first part where I showed you the summary page. Build once they match. Combine the numerator keeping the denominator. Once it's a single fraction, can you factor the numerator? So going to the last one for this problem, Again, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it so that I have space. So in this case, I only have one denominator. So my LCD for this problem is m plus 1, which is what I want to keep when I get it. So in this case, 1 
means I need to multiply that by m plus 1 over m plus 1 to make them match. So I have an m plus 1. Now my denominators match. I'm going to step 2, which says keep the denominator, add across the numerator. Now if it helps, put a 1 in that coefficient. So I have 1m plus 1m, which gives me 2m, and then don't forget the plus 1. Look at that numerator piece. There's nothing to factor. If it helps you not try to cross out those 1s, because I know that some of you are going to want to do that, put it in parentheses. My math lab will not do this. This is a section, like I've told you, that y'all tend to make more mistakes on the test. I strongly urge you to make sure you watch the My Math Lab video as well as there is an extra video with um, extra examples in Canvas on the bottom portion of the Module 4 um, tab, Lectures and Resources.